of aquatic plants. You can find them in oceans as they have no roots, leaves or stems. They are really small and important part of the ocean food chain. For instance, limbambi and muskrats are alangay. to the bottom of the water. However, they do have roots that absorb the water. You can find them in fresh water or salt water. Their leaves are free and remain flat to absorb more sunlight. For instance, lilies and water hyacinth are aquatic plants. Plants. This type of aquatic plants are rooted in the water floor. Most of the vegetation of this plant is found underwater. They have pink and narrow leaves. For instance, hydrilas and bog moss are submerged plants. <laughs> Plants. We also refer them as immersed plants. They are rooted to the ground of the water. However, most of its vegetation is above water instead of soil. They require constant sunlight. For instance, knotweed and reed root are emergent plants. Organisms which survive in water are called aquatic animals. Aquatic animals take oxygen from air or use their organs to absorb oxygen dissolved in water. Some animals use their gills for breathing, whereas some breathe with the help of their lungs. The increasing pollution of highly affected aquatic animals and made them on very verge of extinction. The consumption of aquatic animals by human beings has also endangered the aquatic animal species. Aquatic animals survive and breathe in the water bodies like rivers, lakes, sea, and oceans, forming of fish, algae, and other organisms for consumption as well as commercial purposes in the aquaculture. Around 50% of production and farming of aquatic animals of our consumption comes from aquaculture. 90% of farming of aquatic animals happen in the Asia Pacific region. Aquatic animals are much prone to extension because of the fragility in their environment, increase in their production of trade and consumption of aquatic animals, leading to various challenges for the aquatic life. We must protect our ecosystem. The aquatic animals are a part of and a parcel of the ecosystem. They play an equally important role in keeping the environment safe and healthy. To protect our ecosystem, we must not do any damage to them.